All right, guys. Championship rounds. Islam Makachev. Alexander the Great. Volkanovsky. Yeah, he's moving up. He's trying to become the champ champ. He's trying to take Khabib 2.0's belt. And when I say Khabib 2.0, again, I'm talking about Islam Makachev. Got the homie, Dr. Matt here. Matt, Islam Makachev is on a roll. He's looking in invincible. Yeah, he slipped and got, you know, put to bed by Martin early on, you know, but that, that's been an anomaly, you know what I mean? It was an aberration, you know. So at the end of the day, Alexander Volkanovsky, whom has been perfect, nobody has defeated this 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 guy. Nobody's beaten this guy in the UFC, but now he decides to move up. Something that he's familiar with because he weighed like 300 pounds or close to that. A former rugby player, so he's used to weighing a, a bit more and, and still being able to move around and do athletic shit. Matt, how do you think he fares against Khabib? Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Islam Makachev. Oh, I can't wait because there's so many ifs. I want to be like, Islam's going to be the whole tub and, and could beat his ass, you know? But then I think about this little joker, like you said, it don't matter. You, you ain't just getting your arms and hands on him. Yeah. And then what he did to match, I feel away. I don't see Islam being able to do that if they was to, like, you know, just stand there and box. I don't know, man, and where to go on this one. I'm just ready to watch this fight. All right. Well, this is where I stand. This is where I stand on Islam Makachev versus Alexander Volkanovsky. Okay. Islam Makachev's only blemish came by way of a TKO, okay? He got hands put on him. He's never been submitted. Guys aren't taking him down and... and and doing what they want to him at will. So let's put that out there. Makachev has been knocked out. Whom has Volkanovski knocked out outside of the Korean zombie, who I believe is almost like 40 or something like that? Listen. Yeah. People like people say, oh, look what he did to Max. Look what he did to Max. I mean, they fought enough times. And the thing about yeah. it is, like, Max isn't exactly the max that he's that he always was either i mean people were saying like look okay let me let, let me break this let me break this all the way. i'm sorry man let me break this all bring this all the way back and it all comes back to yair rodriguez i'm gonna connect it yair rodriguez people can say oh yair was green yair was green what's yair has yair has Yair ever, has you, Dr. Matt, has Yair ever had great great wrestling? No. Has he ever had great wrestling defense? Actually, it's not that bad, but not great. Okay. Does he have great wrestling defense right now? Yeah. Right now, I would say he stepped it up a good bit. Dr. Matt, Frankie the Answer Edgar looked like a fucking savage against Yair Rodriguez and it, 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 it you know Frankie Edgar Frankie Edgar who is retired now and that was sad but he's retired now it all goes back to Frankie Edgar at the end of the day I'm connecting these fighters Yair Rodriguez Frankie Edgar this way Max Holloway fought Yair Rodriguez and Max Holloway won and what did people come away saying Oh, yeah, Max looked good. He won. But Yair, Yair was the story because how good he looked against Max Holloway because Max Holloway is declining. And that is why the third fight or whatever number of fight it was with Volkanovski was the one that wasn't the closest. It was one way fucking traffic. Yes, Max Holloway is still Max Holloway, and he can still win fights against top guys, yes. But Volkanovski is what we're talking about in the fight with Makachev. And people want to say, oh, he looks so good against 
Max Holloway. Look what he did against Max Holloway. It took him long enough to look that good against Max Holloway. But at the end of the day, Volkanovski has been touched up on the feet. Okay, that's fine. People don't respect Makachev's boxing and striking. They should. They don't. Fine. He's been touched up on the feet. He's been taken down. And must I bring up Brian T-City Ortega? Did you see the positions that he was able to get Volkanovski in at 145 pounds? Talk to him, Matt. Talk to him, Dr. Matt. Now that you put it that way, <laughs> yeah, uh, he almost submitted him. But yeah, I, I just now, so that's what I'm saying. I'm going back and forth on it. If you put it that way, if that a uh, Volkanovski with the uh, Islam grabbing and putting him in them positions, it's over with. Exactly. That's a different story. <laughs> when Volkanovski. When Volkanovski moves up, when Vol when Alexander the Great Volkanovski moves up to fight Islam Makhachev at 155 pounds, he will successfully be making an attempt to become the UFC's next champ champ. He will also be signing up for a fight, which he's already signed up for. They already faced off in the cage to fight a guy who happens to be the best wrestler and the best grappler that he's ever faced in mixed martial artists or in mixed martial arts and it just happens to be the biggest guy he's ever faced in mixed martial arts my money is on islam fucking makachev and i think at after it's over after islam makachev not only defeats alexander volkanovsky but finishes Alexander Volkanovsky by submission and whether or not he taps or whether or not he it snaps or he goes to sleep is to be seen I can't wait to see it but after that your new pound for pound best fighter on the planet will be Islam fucking Makachev Matt do you concur sir I'm facing the uh not concur. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put this on the records with our uh, uh, street we had going. Okay. I think Volkanovski is gonna catch him, sir. So you I'm not sold on Islam, but they do say that he is stronger and a yeah. better wrestler than Khabib. Yeah. But I, I really just something about him and the way he is. I don't know. I could just see him just getting knocked smooth out with a punch, like getting caught. I mean, that's how. That's his only defeat. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I listen. It can happen. It's a fight, so I'm not gonna <laughs> say, "Hey, dude, like, nah, nah, it's not gonna happen." What are you talking about? Are you cr are you crazy, man? Nah. You know, I'm not gonna say nothing like that. But at the end of the day, my thoughts on this is like I said. You know, like I said. Alex has been taken down. He's been put in some pretty compromising positions submission-wise. He's been touched up on the feet, knocked down, Max Holloway. You know, he's been, you know, he's been in some compromising positions on the feet and on the ground. Yeah. You know. And you can see Islam Makachev as a guy that oh, he he could get caught the way he comes in. You can just catch him flush and put him away. And it's happened once. So you know, there is, you know, fire to the smoke. But at the end of the day, like I said, Alexander Volkanovsky ain't knocking out no fucking body. So I don't see it happening at a higher weight when he can't even knock out the smaller guys. And that's where I leave you guys. I concur with you on that.